Hey, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about how to write a personal statement for medical school. I'm Anisha, I'm about to go into my fourth year of medical school at Bristol. And if you haven't seen any of my videos before, I basically, after year 13, I missed my grades for medical school. So then I had to take a gap year. I reset my A-levels, um, ended up taking another gap year after that. And so I've applied to medicine a few times. Uh, so I know just how tricky the process is and I know a little bit about personal statements and I've worked with kids over the kind of last few years about writing their statement. So I've read a few and so I just wanted to do a little video about it. A little disclaimer, firstly, obviously I'm just a medical student, you know, just by following these tips doesn't mean you're necessarily gonna get an interview at your dream university. So these are just some helpful tips. Um, and secondly, I'm filming this in 2022. Everything changes year by year. So please don't follow this to see, always do your research. Um, but these are just a few tips. Like I said, I've worked with students over the last few years and I know there are a lot of students who, maybe they're the first person in their family applying for medicine or even university. Um, you know, maybe you are at your school and not that many other people are applying for medicine. So it can be a bit tricky. So this hopefully gives you a little bit of help, bit of direction. So first of all, how do you know what to put in your statement? One thing I'm going to say, and I'm going to say this all the time when you're applying for medicine, do your research. Medicine, hopefully, if you don't know already, is a little bit competitive. So what I'm going to say is don't just kind of apply as and when and whatever. Do some research. If you are currently at the end of year 12, hopefully you're going to sit your UCAT in the next few weeks. Once you sit your UCAT, have a look at your score. And depending on that, you know, have a think about which universities you're going to be applying to. So, for example, Bristol, currently, once they take your application, they're going to look that you do the right subjects and that you've got the right predicted grades. And then they will just straight away rank you by your UCAT score. They don't look at your statement in that kind of process. And so that's going to vary a lot to another university, which might really look at your personal statement. So that's what I'm saying when I say do your research, because actually, you know, maybe the universities we end up applying to don't really look at it whereas some others might say we really want to see volunteering or work experience so just do your research check your following their criteria and all of this is to kind of give you the best shot at getting an interview and we'll do a whole video on that and then getting from that interview stage to the offer stage medical school if you don't already know actually actually it's interesting i think being at medical school is a lot easier than applying to medical school Applying to medical school is, is hard work. I think, you know, if I look at my friends now who have finished university and, you know, they're trying to get a job and, you know, things like that, that's a lot harder. Whereas I think for students going for medical school, then that, that kind of thing, all your hard work is kind of in year 12 and 13. So don't worry, it pays off, I promise. But yeah, like I said, firstly, do your research. Next thing I want to say is a little exercise I usually recommend to people is have a look and make a list of the skills that you think a good doctor should have. So is that teamwork, uh, communication skills, leadership, resilience, organisation. There's loads and loads of skills. A really great website to check, and I'll put in the link below, um, is the MSC, so the Medical Schools Council. They have a list of great skills that they think doctors should have. So firstly, have a look at that list. Then what I want you to do is come up with two examples of each of those skills. So let's take teamwork, for example. For teamwork, I want you to try and find an example where you've seen teamwork in a healthcare setting. It doesn't have to be with doctors. It would be great if it was, because it kind of sits with medicine, but it's, you know, if it's in a pharmacy, that's completely fine. So for example, let's say teamwork, classic thing is an MDT. Um, so in hospital, maybe you're seeing a really great meeting with lots of different um, healthcare workers from different specialities discussing a patient. So that is a brilliant example of teamwork. So one thing I want you to do is not just give the example, but show how they show that skill. And I think that is something I think students struggle with, reflecting on the skill that's used. So with teamwork, really, really simple things. How do they show it? Really things like listening to each other, uh, by collaborating when you're making plans together. Um, you know, generally, what is teamwork? It's making the best out of everyone's strengths, isn't it? If you think about, especially, you know, if you're trying to tie it with medicine, think about teamwork and maybe holistic care. 
how does teamwork enable having that kind of holistic approach to patient care so that is one viewpoint to be thinking can you kind of understand that so really talk about how they're showing it and the next thing is thinking about why was it important that that skill was used and I think students can sometimes find that tricky so I sometimes say well think about that situation if that skill wasn't there think about they had an MDT meeting and there was no teamwork what would happen and then that kind of kind of lets you know what the importance of that skill is so that's one half of the scenario so thinking about that skill in relation to healthcare how was it shown be specific and why was it important it was used so that's one part of it the next part i want you to think about is how you've shown that skill so how have you shown teamwork for example and this again doesn't need to be as complicated as it initially may seem um i think lots of students feel like they need to come up with really massive examples and realistically you know when you're in year 12 and 13 it's probably only so much you've done you know so maybe you have done something absolutely incredible but even if it is just for biology you have to do a presentation in a team that is enough that is teamwork um please don't worry about i haven't done do a video no like that's completely fine again though it's just as important as before sure you use teamwork how did you show teamwork how did you work together as a team it might seem really tedious but it's about letting the person read it really read and think okay they demonstrate it it should be convincing that okay you you know what teamwork looks like and you've shown it yourself you've been able to start developing those skills and like you did on the other side why was teamwork important and another thing that's nice to think about is how you know you now that you know you've got teamwork how you're going to use that in the future so that kind of makes sense so again have that list of skills go onto the msc website have a look at these skills, come up with an example in a healthcare setting, come up with an example that you've shown. And basically, that's that's the bulk of your statement, if I'm honest. With a lot of the students I worked with, we'd choose maybe three or four skills, and each of those, you kind of link the healthcare one and your experience, and that's a paragraph. Healthcare, your experience together, it's a paragraph. So kind of pick a couple of skills um, that you think are useful. I would always think communication and teamwork for me are really, I think they kind of, you need to have them as a doctor. The other skills I think are still, you know, just as important, but for me, those two, but you know, it's up to you, make your decision on that. So that for me is your bulk of your statement. And like I've said a couple of times that really be specific. Please don't just say they showed empathy. This was important because like, what does that mean? Show me how they used empathy. Talk about really things like verbal communication, non-verbal communication. Did they use hand gestures? Was it their eye contact? Was it the language that you used? Why was it so beneficial in that situation? Um, and all of this is great practice for your interviews. This is the kind of thing you talk about in interviews. So you're kind of starting to get ready for that now. Um, so like I said, that's your main body really. Please don't list as well. Don't say I did in my debating tennis and recorder, I don't know. Um, like that's be just choose one. You know, you've got a reference, your school can include anything additional, but for your statement, choose the relevant bits and be specific with it. In terms of the introduction, oh, don't get so bogged down with the intro and conclusion is what I'd say. With your intro, I'm just going to say be honest. What was it that made you get into medicine? What was it that made you think, I want to do this? Was it something like, I don't know, you learn about something in biology at school and that really interested you and you're like, I want to know about this, I want to further my learning? That's a great starting point. Is it that you had a family member who was in hospital and seeing the care they received? You know, all of these things, whatever it is, be true to yourself. Um, and if I'm honest, I feel like a lot of universities, they, they don't really get bogged down in the intro and conclusion. They're just gonna show, have they shown reflection? Have they maybe done some volunteering or work experience, that kind of thing? They probably don't care about all the like nitty gritty bits. And that's another point. Your statement probably isn't gonna be really interesting or engaging or flow really well you've got four thousand characters and you want every statement to be adding to it there shouldn't really be any fillers or any like starters for you know before you introduce a point like realistically you're just going to get straight in there don't worry it's not a piece of like fantastic english writing this is just to show that you've demonstrated some things um yeah i wouldn't worry about that bit too much 
for your conclusion again just a couple of lines It'd be nice to kind of summarize what you've done you don't want to introduce anything new just maybe echo um, the skills that you've shown and again why is it that you want to be a doctor what is it that's bringing you into medical school um, and what you want is every point that you make in the mind of the reader to kind of think I can see this person at my medical school I can see this person as a doctor that's the kind of message you want to be giving um, let me see if I had any other points da, da, da. try and give a bit of personality I think when I'm reading a lot of statements just seeing about GP again and consultations can get a little bit dry but when someone tells me about, I don't know, they organise a really interesting event at school or they do like Taekwondo, that's way more interesting. So don't, you know, make it about yourself. That's really fun to read. Um, and final point, try and get a couple of people to read your statement, mostly just for things like grammar and spelling. Um, like I said, the big part of your statement is reflection, really showing that you have an insight about what medicine is truly like and that, you know, bearing in mind, you know all of that, you still want to go for it because you're passionate about it. That's what we want to see. Um, and anyway, like I said, I'll drop down a few links down below, a few kind of bits around current affairs or things I think are relevant. You don't need to know all of it, but you might find it interesting. You might want to put it in your statement. Um, things like books and TV shows and films. My general point is that unless it's kind of very explicitly about medicine, I think... For example, lots of people like this is going to hurt. It's a great book. I think it's brilliant. But as to whether I'd use it in my statement, maybe not. Try to really get things that are actually showing what it's like. So, for example, if you haven't got work experience, a lot of students I could recommend things like GPs behind closed doors or 24 hours in A&E. You can just search them on YouTube. Those are great examples of teamwork or communication. So if you don't have work experience, you can still get around it like things like that or there's virtual work experience as well. Um, so yeah, don't worry about it. I know it seems like a really demanding, stressful thing to do, but actually just break it down. It's just you talking about all the amazing things you've done, which I'm sure you've done those, but also a bit about why you want to be there. Why is it that they should invest in you for the next five or six years and onwards? Um, and just, yeah, as long as you seem like a kind and caring and interesting person, I think they'll probably choose you. Um, hopefully that was helpful. If you are in year 12 and you're watching this in advance, what I will say is just make notes. Make notes about the things you've done in your year. Um, and think about, you know, like I said, those skills. Where have you shown those skills? All of those kind of um, notes that you make now will be so much easier when you end up having to write your statement in the future. Um, I hope this was helpful. Like I said, it's probably not anything mind-blowingly new to hear, but it's just, you know, for those people who might not have much guidance, hopefully this can kind of give you a little bit of direction. Um, and like I said, I'll try and make an interview tips video as well. If you have any questions, just comment them down below and I will try and answer them. Otherwise, best of luck, don't worry. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.